Hey there, lovely learners. It's Catherine here from UpskillWise. Today, I'm excited to share with you my top 10 productivity hacks that have seriously transformed how I learn from the comfort of my home. Just a little heads up, I've got a fantastic freebie waiting for you at the end of this video. Stick around to learn how to get your hands on it. You won't want to miss out. Let's get into it. Let's kick things off with our first productivity hack, creating a designated study or workspace. Trust me, this move alone will elevate your productivity like you wouldn't believe. Picture this, a spot with no distractions and everything is right where you need it to be making studying time something you look forward to. Think of it as your perfect learning sanctuary. Personally, I like to drink my favorite cup of coffee and light a candle at my desk each morning. It's my morning ritual and helps me get into the perfect headspace for the day ahead. Next up on our productivity journey is creating a solid routine. Commit to it as best you can there's a real sense of accomplishment when you stick to the plan. A consistent routine doesn't just keep you on track, it can boost your productivity tenfold. In the book Atomic Habits by James Clear, he discusses forming new habits and states. On average, it takes more than two months before a new behavior becomes automatic, 66 days to be exact. So my advice, be patient and try to stay as consistent as possible as it won't happen overnight. Now that we have our routine established, we're moving on to breaking tasks into manageable chunks. This really is a game changer. It makes studying more manageable and less daunting. Think of it like tackling one piece at a time and watch your progress stack up. When I took an online course on Adobe Illustrator, I'd start each morning watching the video tutorials of a new tool, take a five minute break and continue with 30 minutes of practicing using the new tool. And I'd apply what I'd learned to a design project for the next couple of hours. I'd end each day either reviewing my work, sharing with peers, and goal setting for the next day. And about that freebie I teased earlier, it's a downloadable booklet that sums up everything we're covering in today's video. And yes, it's completely free. All you have to do is subscribe to our channel, give this video a thumbs up, and click the registration link in the description below to get your copy. Don't miss out. Now we're moving into time management techniques. If you can master this, it will seriously boost your focus and efficiency. One of my favorite methods is the Pomodoro technique. It's as simple as working intensely for 25 minutes, then rewarding yourself with a five minute break. On my five minute break, I like to hang out with my cuddly golden retriever, Yuna. She always puts a smile on my face. It's a fun, easy way to keep your energy up and your mind sharp. So why the name Pomodoro? Believe it or not, it's named after those adorable tomato-shaped kitchen timers. Pomodoro means tomato in Italian. Back in the late 1980s, a university student named Francisco Cirello was struggling to focus on his studies and complete assignments. Feeling overwhelmed, he challenged himself to just 25 minutes of focused work time. He used a tomato-shaped kitchen timer to track his progress. And there you have it, the Pomodoro Technique was born. If you end up giving it a go, leave us a comment below and let us know how you got on. Next up is minimizing distractions. This is to ensure your study time is super effective. Start by clearing out the distractions. Keep your focus sharp by turning off notifications, blocking those tempting websites, and maybe even rocking a pair of noise cancelling headphones to really get you in the zone. When I really need to concentrate, I take a simple yet drastic step. I put my phone on silent mode. This small move, though it seems minor, has been pivotal in cutting out distraction and helps me zone in on my work. Give these tips a try and let us know in the comments how you get on. Moving on to staying organised. I don't just mean staying tidy. It's also about ensuring everything has a proper place. If you create a clutter-free zone, you'll find that study or work sessions become significantly more productive. It can be as simple as using folders to neatly arrange your materials, take advantage of apps to keep your tasks in check, and don't underestimate the power of a well-organized notebook. I found Trello to be my favorite organization tool. It's a fantastic app that helps me organize both my projects and daily tasks. 
I personally love to use color coding on my cards to indicate priority, from high to low, making it super easy to see at a glance what needs to be done. I can then easily drag these cards to their correct lists, which I've labeled as to do, working on and done. This visual system not only keeps my tasks neatly organized, but also motivates me to move tasks to the done list. When everything is in the right place, Finding what you need is quicker and focusing becomes easier. Now let's dive into staying engaged during online classes. By actively joining into discussions, asking questions and jotting down notes, it will keep you focused during learning. This isn't just about keeping up, it's about pulling the learning deeper into your brain. Staying involved helps sharpen your focus and cements the information in your memory. Let's face it, we're all living in a world full of distractions, from WhatsApp to TikTok. Let's try to dedicate our full attention to our learning. When I recently took a Yotam Ottolenghi class on Masterclass, I made sure to utilize the note-taking feature extensively. This strategy not only kept me fully involved, but also held me accountable throughout the class. So turn on your camera, throw in a question, and get involved. Next on the agenda is taking regular breaks. Remember, your brain needs a breather to work at its best. Make it a point to step away from your studies regularly, whether it's stretching, taking a short walk, or even heading out to grab a coffee at your favorite spot. Taking breaks is essential. Studies from the University of Michigan have shown that spending time in nature or even just looking at images of natural scenes can boost cognitive functions such as memory and attention. So when you're deciding what to do on your break, consider taking a stroll through a nearby park. If you're strapped for time, even flipping through some photos of natural landscapes can be incredibly rejuvenating. Either way, you return to your tasks feeling refreshed and more focused. These little pauses help you to clear your mind, recharge and come back even more focused. Now let's explore engaging with your online community. Just because you're learning from home doesn't mean you have to go it alone. Stay plugged into your online community by participating in forums, joining study groups and attending virtual meetups. Connecting with peers keeps the motivation buzzing and accountability strong. Plus, it's always more fun to learn along with others who understand the journey you're on. Let's not forget the ultimate productivity booster, self-care. It's more than just studying. It's about thriving. Make sure you're getting enough sleep, eating nutritious foods and staying active. This holistic approach isn't just good for your body and mind, it recharges your studying capabilities. When you feel great, you learn great. Cooking is a passion of mine, and there's nothing I enjoy more than planning and preparing a delicious meal. I find the process both relaxing and therapeutic. Plus, it offers the wonderful bonus of bringing my family together to share a tasty dinner around the table. That's a wrap on my top tips for staying productive whilst learning from home. Remember, if you like what we've covered in today's video, don't miss out on our free booklet. Just hit subscribe, like this video, follow the registration link in the description below to grab your copy. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.